Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the next No Pan Left Behind update. I am working on three palettes every month in this project to use No Pan Left Behind, which means that I want to reach for every single shade in the palette before I can roll it out. And once I've rolled it out, I always leave a place it and I try to replace all three palettes every month, mainly because I do have a goal this year to use every single one of my palettes um, and every single eyeshadow in my collection, just so I can actually justify having all the eyeshadows that I do. So I'm going to go through the three palettes that I've been working on and I'm going to let you know if I replace them and what I'm bringing in if so. But before jumping into that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So before I actually cover any of the palettes, I want to let you know that I am working with Annalisa on this video. The video isn't sponsored, but they have kindly gifted me a couple pieces and you know that I've worked with them so much in the past. I love the company. They do some great quality products and I just love their attitude and their values. You all know that they are cover neutral. That's one of the reasons why I love working with them. And today I'm going to cover the pieces that I already have in my collection, how they're worn and I'll just let you know, like honestly, how they last over time. Um, you know that I worked with them for a couple of years now, so I obviously been building my Annalisa collection for quite a while. So I'll share with you a couple of my favorite pieces as well, uh, and you just go through that before we jump into the video. So first up, this right here is my jewelry stand. And not everything on here in Annalisa, but honestly, probably two thirds or three fourths even of my products on there that I use like on the daily are from Annalisa. Those are like my go-to daily jewelry because they're so comfortable to wear and they just go with everything. Like today I threw on some of my favorite pieces. I wanted to share with them with you. Um, on my ears I'm wearing, I think this is called the Celeste earrings. It has like a star on one side and a moon on the other. It always gets stuck in my hair. But there you have it. The, I love this piece. And I do love the Huggies. Those are the ones that go like all around your ears. I have another pair right here. I always store them like together. But this is another pair right here. I will pop up on the screen what they're called because I can't remember the name of everything. But why I love these are because obviously they go around your ear, which means that they're very, very comfortable to wear. I do take my jewelry off every time I shower because obviously they do have a care guide. I will have that link down below, by the way, um, on how to care for your jewelry and make them last the longest. So I take them off every time I shower, but I do sleep in my, at least earrings and necklace most of the time. Um, so, you know, I probably could care for them better, but I'm just, I just like having them in so I can just get up in the morning, get dressed quickly, and I always look put together. So that's why I love the Huggies, because they are just very, very comfortable. They don't stab me. So those are some of my favorites. Another pair of Huggies that are a little bit different are these ones right here. So I usually just wear these. You've probably seen them in a lot of videos. Um, I use these all the time. This, these have been my go-to earrings for a long time. And I've worn this like countless of times. And you can see they still look pretty pristine. I can definitely see a little bit of wear and tear on them, but I think that's again because I've worn them so much and also because I sleep in them as well, like I said. But you, I mean, you can see like they're still very, very pristine. And these ones are really good because I usually wear them like this. Again, you've probably seen that, but originally they come with an additional piece on them, which looks like this. So you have like two earrings in one, basically, which is also one of the reasons why I love Ana Luisa. I also have some rings on. This is another one that I wear every single day. Um, I do, again, take it off when I shower, but I don't always take it off when I wash my hands. Again, that's bad on me, but um, you can still see it looks pretty pristine. It has a little bit of wear on it, but I think it's also the shape of the ring. It just scrapes against things. And I think that's just something that will happen with any jewelry like that. But also, if you do have any issues at all with the jewelry, if like they break, if they tarnish too quickly, even though you're following the care guide, they have a two-year warranty. It used to be only one year, but they have recently increased it to two years, which is amazing. So if you do have any issues, they are happy to help you with your jewelry. So yeah, those are some of my favorite pieces. Also, this necklace here is one that I love. It's very dainty. It just has a little butterfly on it. That's one that I wear if I want to have like more of a subtle um, necklace. This is another one you probably see me wear a lot, which is this one here. It's just like a um, heart on a chain. I love this one. And it's actually, again, a double necklace. It also comes with this chain right here. So you can wear them together or separate. Um, so that's another piece that I really love. So make sure to check out Annalisa. I will have a link down below as well as a discount code. I'll put it on screen as well. Um, so yeah, make sure to check them out. And if you could use my code, I would really, really appreciate it. Again, this is not a sponsored video. It's not affiliated in any way, but it just helps me with future collaborations with Annalisa. So if you could do that, I would really appreciate it. 
and yeah, make sure to check them out. So jumping back into my note palette behind, I do have these three palettes that I was working on over the past month. We have the Mini Biba from Natasha Denona, the Pat McGrath from Seduction, and the Natasha Denona Sunrise. Let's start with the Natasha Denona Sunrise. So this is a beautiful palette, and I roll this in because it is quite a summery palette. I love the color story of this one, and I hadn't reached for it in a long time. I haven't reached for it much, honestly, in my collection. Obviously, I've reached for the shades like a couple times each, but not too much. Um, so I wanted to get, bring this in mainly to get to know it better and fall back in love with it. And I'm happy to say that I have reached for every single shade in here, no pan left behind. And I also did really fall back in love with this palette. I really, really do love it. I think the color story is really beautiful. Yes, there are a couple shades that are like repetitive, especially this red here and this red here. I don't think both of them needed to be in this palette, but I think it's a beautiful one. You can create a really, really subtle look with these here. Like if I cover all of the colorful shades on this side, you can see you can have a really subtle look there. You can create some really like deep, um, like sunset, rich sunset looks with the more colorful shades. So you have a lot of variety in this palette and I really, really did enjoy it. But again, I have it gold on this one as no palette behind. So I'll be rolling it out. Next up, we have the Mini Biba palette again from Natasha Nona. This one is just a five pan palette that looks like this. Um, I hadn't actually tried this one before. I recently got it from my friend Martina, um, but I have now reached for every single shade in here. I love all the shades and um, I created one look with this palette. That's what I tried to do with my mini palettes from Natasha Nona, or at least, I don't know, at least with these ones that I feel like are a good, like everyday palette for want to go traveling. I want to see if I can create a really nice look with it. And I did. I do also feel like I can create like two distinct looks with it. I can use this one in my crease for more peachy look or this one for more of a brown look. And then like these two browns also look quite similar in the pan. This one here is one of the cream to powder mattes, which shows up lighter on the eyes. So if you wanted to go for lighter at the corner, I could do that with that shade. Um, obviously there's just one shimmer in the middle, but it's quite versatile. So I feel like it would work with every look. Uh, and it's also quite a nice shimmery shade. So I did really like this palette. The only thing I would say is that this cream to powder isn't that the best. You can probably see that it has a little bit of hard pan on it. I tried to remove it with some tape, but yeah, it's just kind of like a hard panny cream to powder. So that one isn't the absolute best, but overall I did enjoy this palette. And it's a good little handy one to have if you want to like bring it with you as like a simple travel palette or bring it to office or something like that. So I'm really happy that I have it in my collection now. And then lastly, we do have my Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction palette, which looks like this. I love this palette. I've had this in my collection for just under a year now, and I play around with it a couple of times, and I really do like it. Um, I feel like, again, you can create a lot of versatile looks. The mattes in here might look quite deep, but what I really like about the Pat McGrath formula is that they are very, very buildable, especially the mattes. You can like blend them out effortlessly. With the mattes in this palette though, um, or with the shadows in this palette, I usually set my eye base. I don't normally set my eye base before I do my makeup, but with these I do because I feel like they blend much better on top of that. I also heard some, for some people that if you have a hard time with the Pat McGrath formula, maybe try some different brushes. I most often use the um, refer brushes with this and it works perfectly. Um, and yeah, the shimmers in here, like the special shades, are stunning. I was a bit worried about this red, but honestly that is such an amazing shade. I love using that one too. And I think overall I created, was it two looks with this palette? I think that's what I did. And I obviously want to reach into this one much, much more. And especially like the special shades, topping other looks with these shadows would be amazing because I love all of them, honestly, um, especially like the more free, like the more sparkly shades. So I was able to hit my goal on all three of those palettes, but before I jump into rolling in some new palettes, I want to just cover the other palettes that I used no palette behind in the past month. So first up, we have my Natasha Nona Bronze Palette. I used that one, No Pan Left Behind. Then I also used my Her Beauty and the World Obsession Palette, No Pan Left Behind, which is my Panda Palette now. Um, I used the Natasha Nona Biba Palette, which is like the full side Biba. I also used the Sunrise, Bronze Seduction, and Mini Biba in that order as well. And then lastly, the last palette that I used, No Pan Left Behind, is the Urban Decay Stone Vibes. So those are all the palettes that I used, No Pan Left Behind, in the past month. And at this point, we have used 35 out of my 52 palettes no pan left behind which gives me a percentage of 67.31 which means that i have used just over two-thirds of my palettes no pan left behind which is amazing especially because i think of like at the end of august we would have gone through two-thirds of the year so i am on track with my palettes i'd still need to reach for my singles more to be on track fully with like all my actual usage but i'm really really happy that i'm at least on track with my no pan left behind palettes um, to like reach my goal to reach out for all of them before the end of the year. 
So let's talk about what I'm going to roll in next. And a palette that I want to roll in now, because I think it's the best time of the year to roll this one in, is actually Maratha Shirodnona Metropolis palette. I haven't actually reached for this palette yet this year, which is a shame because it's a beautiful palette. I really, really love this one. And I think this is perfect between the like end of summer, autumn kind of vibes. Because you do have like these warm tones, more kind of like golden tones. You also have the greens and it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. But like also the blue would work in a really nice like summer look. So I'm going to roll this one in for no palette behind. Obviously it has 28 shades, so it's quite a big palette. But I'm still really excited to reach for this one. And I think it's going to be a really, really good palette, like I said. So this is the first one that I'm bringing in. Then to compensate for that big palette, I'm also bringing in another Natasha Lona mini palette. This one is the mini gold. It is another beautiful palette. This has a lot of green tones. And I think this one would work honestly on its own, but also with the Metropolis palette. I think I'm going to try to create a look alone with this one though. Again, like I said, with the mini Viva palette, that's something that I want to do with this mini palette. But if I want to keep reaching for this one, I think it would pair really, really nicely with the Metropolis palette. So that is the next one I'm bringing in. And this is five shades. Then the last palette that I want to bring in is one that I've also been dying to reach for for a long time. And that is my Viseart Paris Edit palette. Um, and this one was another gift from my friend Martina. This is what this one looks like on the inside. Not the most like summer autumnal palette but i think it will give me some contrast between the other two palettes because i think the metropolis palette will give me enough warm tones enough like rich kind of colors that i want to break from them so i want to bring this one into use as well and i'm just really excited to play with the vc formula so i'm going to bring this one in as my final palette so that you guys was it for today i really really hope you enjoyed the video and again please make sure to check out analisa they will be linked down below and i will also have my discount code there um, if you have any questions about the pieces that I have and how they're worn or anything, let me know and I will happily answer them down below. And otherwise, I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.